We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. An object of rest that is to these rights. Rest. Governments are instituted by men, men force, deriving their just powers from the government. That when a righteous tend to keep on doing what they're doing, the right to unless that's all on mind or not to be. And if that's the question, question, they will stay in the same position. Whether to be no in the mind to suffer the same motion, arrows of outrageous fortune, seems like the arms that they will take from you in my opposing end. Prudence in the dictate to sleep, 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 we all know this. Just as we know, 3 plus 4 equals 7. Alexander Hamilton plus Thomas Jefferson equals angst in Congress. 2 hydrogen plus oxygen equals water. And Romeo plus Juliet equals big no-no. And students plus finals equals stress. We all know the feeling. Weeks of pressure, leading up to four days of constant terror, usually followed by elation or sudden crushing defeat. But when it's all said and done, we focus on the great. We define ourselves by a number, a letter, and yet the problems caused by finals are overlooked. We subject ourselves to constant worrying. And what does that truly cost? What do finals truly cost us? We hold these truths to be self-evident. If I tie a forward to this, that should be good. No, no, I have to add more. They want connections. They want to see I can make connections. I have to make more connections. Okay, I just have to finish this, and then I can start my mock essay, and that has to be three pages, right? No. No, it has to be four at least. And I have to time myself. I always go over time. I have to fix that. And then I have the study guide. That's due on Tuesday, right? If I don't finish that, I can always finish it during lunch that day. It's my fourth hour exam. Okay. I can do this, right? Yes. Maybe. I have to finish, no, I have to start writing my English essay. I have to get this done. I have to get this done by tomorrow. I really should work on it. I really should. I know that I should, but what's the point if I don't understand the material anyway? It's not like I actually learned anything and yeah, yeah, I didn't really pay attention, but it's not like the teacher actually taught us anything remotely educational. Well, that's a lie. They taught me what I don't want to do with the rest of my life. We just sit there and take notes or listen attentively to this bullshit old guy who is more interested in talking about fishing than actually giving us any relevant information. Besides, school's just a bunch of bullshit wrapped up in state funding anyway. Information is shoved in our heads and we're just expected to digest it like good little children. I'm done. I'm so done. I can't do this anymore. I really don't think I can do this. It's too much. No, it's too late. I thought I could do it, but I didn't do it. I just don't know what to do. I'm never going to get good grades. I don't know what to do. I can't talk to my teachers because they already think I don't take responsibility. And no, I probably don't, but just care about me. Because I don't even know if I care about myself sometimes. I just don't know. I don't, I don't know, know what I last ate. That's probably bad. I mean, I knew I talked about it in personal fitness, but I only took that because it was a requirement my mom wanted me to get it out of the way. Okay, but no, that doesn't matter right now. I have to get this done. It's only, it's only 12.30. I can do that by tomorrow. Sleep is for the week. <laughs> I remember when I used to live for the days I could stay up past, past 10. Like it was some big prize or something to hide from my parents. I'd be so tired in the morning, but it'd be worth it because I was an adult. I was so grown up, and to stay awake, I'd sneak some candy. My mom would catch me and ask me why, which would lead to me, of course, divulging my secret to her, and I'd have to go to bed early that night. I wish that was still the case. Now, all she says to me is, go, finish your homework. You want to get into a good college, right? You want to make us proud. 
now, right? I bet she'd be happy to know how late I stay up. Okay, back to business. Chemistry-wise, how, how much, much more, more do I have to do to get through to these fucking teachers? Yelling at us doesn't fucking help, and neither does ignoring us. So when finals roll around, it's not like I'm gonna do well. Some people do, but they actually care enough to swim through all this watery bullshit they're drowning us in. I wish teachers were graded on finals just as much as we are. That'd be the day. Then things might actually change. I used to be a good student. Hell, I used to like school. I used to enjoy this bullshit. I used to stay awake for hours during nap time in preschool reading the boxcar children. Reading was the highlight of my day, and I could just stay up and read those stupid little chapter books. They smelled like old paper, and the pages are all crinkly, and after I'd read them, I'd run up to the teachers and tell them every single thing that happened in the story. When I got older, I fell absolutely in love with Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, and... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it doesn't seem like anyone actually cares about me or what I care about. So I'm not going to give two fucks. It's not worth it. it. It's just not worth it. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't... I don't think I want to die, but I just don't want to be here anymore. It's just so much all the time, and the pressure, and it's just never anything good. For as long as I can remember, I've just wanted to go. Travel the world, wander, become something in someone. I'd watch airplanes fly past me and just wish to soar high above everything. I'd watch clouds zoom past me and just know I'd be going somewhere incredible. I just wanted to see beautiful canyons and multicolored oceans and meet crazy people from all across the globe. I just wanted... I just want to be free. I don't want to be at school. But I still care about it for some stupid, stupid reason. <clears throat> All everyone ever tells me is I'll never go anywhere good unless I get good grades. But with every B, every C, every D, I just feel my freedom slipping away. I don't care, but I do. and. I don't know who I am anymore. I don't even know how to get through this week. How do, how do I, I get, get through, through this? this problem? I swear that Mr. White went over this. I know he did. Why did I remember this? <laughs> so, I have to focus. How much algebra do I have left? It can't be that much. I finished most of it last week in class, although. That means I probably forgot most of it, so I'll have to go over it again. One fifty-eight. Crap. I still have to make sure I'm good for the AP golf tomorrow. There's just so much to do. What I need, need to, to know this stuff. stuff later in life. Yeah, right. Advanced calculus is really gonna come in handy for me. So if, so if I just want to read for all my life, what then? What if I don't care about any of this stupid, stupid bullshit? You know what? This school can just go fuck itself. I don't fucking care anymore. But I do. I don't know what I want or who I am. And I just don't want to be here. I just want it to stop. I just want it to stop. I'm so sorry, Mom. I just want it to stop. I have a right to sleep. I just want to sleep. I'm just so tired. I just want to read again. I just want to care again. I want someone to care about me. I'm just so tired I of this. I just want myself back. I want myself again. I am just so tired. Across our country, Students are suffering, not from bullying, although that does happen, but from the school itself. We push our students into incredibly stressful situations 
giving them three to five hours of homework a night while also expecting them to join a sport, play an instrument, do some theater, have some friends, live. But how can they if they still need to eat, to sleep, to dream? The stress of living every day with this amount of work is incredible. And when finals are added into the equation, are students being pushed over the edge? To be or not to be? That's the question. Now, more than ever before, we pressure our students, our children, to be academically superior. But are we neglecting their feelings, their lives in the process? Are we leaving them to fend for themselves in this increasingly difficult academic world? An object at rest will stay at rest, the most active pod by an outside force. We throw information at them, saying, do well on your tests, your finals, and you go to college. You'll be happy. But are they learning to be happy now? And if not, what can we do to change? We hold these truths to be self-evident that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it. 